Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Right, guys we're on our first European railway to a new country so a bit excited uh, really hoping there like some really good views along the way and uh, I got the entire cabin by myself just a quick tour it's a six-seater economy cabin and then you store your luggage up there uh, I think that's the uh, train operator hello yes uh, he wants to see the ticket Thank you. Welcome to Slovakia. All right, guys, let's uh, get us a ticket, a bus ticket. And let's get to where we're supposed to go. All right, let's see. Have a uh, throat spray? Mm -hmm. uh, is it strong pain or just? Uh, kind of, yeah. You can try this is for disinfection of the throat and uh, for the pain. Okay, yeah. and, and I just spray it on my throat. Yes. Okay, spray perfect. To the throat, uh, every two to three hours, one to three sprays. Okay, perfect. And don't drink and eat. You didn't tell me I won't. Out of here, and there was a pharmacy right in front of me. There was a pharmacy right in front of my door, and I walked right past it. I'm signing off. I'm about to shower and take a fucking nap. Guys, my trip in Sablakia has gotten off to a rough start. Apparently, my body wants to try to catch a cold <laughs> in the middle of the week. So, I just woke up from about an eight hour hiatus. It's about eight, eight o'clock right now. Just left my Airbnb, gonna head over to the old town. I am absolutely starving. So, I know it's dark, but let's go and try to explore the old town, find something to eat uh, on our first day here in Slovakia. So let's do it. I do not recommend crossing the street <laughs> if, the light isn't, if the light isn't green. <laughs> Literally, I just had three cars coming at me simultaneously from three different directions. Holy crap. All right, I think this one's pretty, pretty straightforward. Yo, I'm extremely excited to be in Slovakia. I'm gonna shoot a, I'm gonna shoot a video tomorrow going around talking to locals. If you research um, Slovakia, specifically with, uh, with tourists, specifically with black tourists, one of the main things you continuously see popping up, Slovakia is racist, Slovakia is this, Slovakia is that, don't go, don't go. So, 
it made it even more intriguing for me to go and check this out myself. Thus far, I walked around a little bit earlier trying to get some cold medicine. And one was nice. Uh, I actually had two people uh, see that I was a little lost. They actually stopped and tried to help. No one did that in Hungary. Woo. All right. So we'll check that out tomorrow. Let me see something. All right, where am I going? Guys, welcome to Bratislava, Slovakia. This is the old town. It's about 8.30 at night on Saturday and it's a little, it's a little dry right now, but I have a feeling it's gonna pick up later. All right, so right now the goal is very simple. Let's grab something to eat. And let's try to get rejuvenated a little bit, see if we can knock some of this cold out of us. Right now, I'm just following my nose and the music. Sounds like some live music. Ooh, what is it? Ah, uh, the Dublin, this is the pub. This is the same type of pub that was, um, that I went to in Istanbul. This may be the first stop, guys. This may be the first stop. Do they serve food, though? Anyone who can guess how many instruments that was gets a free beer. Is that food? Oh, yes. Alright, beautiful. It's filling up tonight. Looking good. Yeah, Much better than this. What's up, brother? How are you? Are you doing good? Good, good. <laughs> for my first Slovakian meal. I don't think I've ever had any food that describes itself as, as, as Slovakian. Yo, this looks uh, German. It's just like a Wiener schnitzel. Where are you from? From the US. Nice. You lost here? Huh? You lost here? <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask, what is a prop, uh, what is a popular Slovakian Very good is a beef stroganoff with the uh, homemade dumplings because Slovakia is famous with the dumplings it's making from the potatoes and from the flour. It's, flour is nice. Really good? Okay, yeah. I'll take that. This? Okay. I'll take that. Cheers. Thank you so much. Alright guys, a Slovakian beef stroganoff and a Earl Grey hot tea. Let's dig in this. Let me see how this tastes. Very excited. Alright. The noodles taste like a um, like a German spatzel. Mm -hmm. Actually, that would make sense since we're in this side of Europe. So close to uh, Germany and Vienna. It actually tastes just like a spatula noodle. And the beef is very tender and seasoned very well. All right, guys, so that's actually happened at a few countries. The tip is already included. I'm looking, I'm like, yo, you know, how do I tip? It's like, oh, it's already included. Um, actually, let's go this way. All right. <coughs> Whiskey and tea. I think that's the goal for tonight. Let's do it. All right guys, really cool fact about Bratislava. So a lot of the bars and clubs are actually located in former um, uh, nuclear bunkers that are uh, underneath a lot of the buildings. So you have like the main building right here and then you'll see a lot of the bar signs and then you actually have to go down underground to get there. So uh, let's go check it out. Thank you. Wait, you're out. Oh yeah, This is like one of the main screens. It gets very festive. You get statues and stuff like that. Uh huh. Um, have you seen the, the, the guy coming out the, the manhole cover? No, where's that at? Uh, where's, the, where's the guy coming out of the manhole cover? The statue? Uh, uh, up okay. there. Oh, oh no. Over there. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, okay. So it's like literally like a bronze statue and there's a guy like... No shit. <laughs> is that the, the trophy for the win? 
Yeah, so no shit. Both, both the ladies and the men's team won. Tiny Bleak, Vienna against Bratislava. No won. shit. Yeah. Good shit. Mm. I'm sorry. So sorry, that's <laughs> Julian. Julian, I'm Ken, brother. Ken. Yeah. Uh, nice Pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah. yeah. It's Ken's first day in Bratislava, so we're we showing day. him. We, <laughs> we're showing him. We're showing him Bratislava. All the shittest places. <laughs> places you do not want to go again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the goal for the night. Yeah. Well, you'll know for the rest of the week. <laughs> Oh, okay. Alright, guys, so first night in Bratislava, A. Plus. I mean, within probably the first 20 minutes of me going out, met some people that randomly walked up to me, and we ended up hanging out, hanging out for the whole night. Um, I started coughing a little bit more than I would like to, so I uh, decided to, you know, we're gonna take it in tonight, uh, so we can go out and uh, make it in. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and start exploring. Um, I think I'm gonna go around to the old town tomorrow and explore as much as there as I can tomorrow. And then uh, probably the next day, if I have enough time to go off into like some of the side, uh, smaller towns, because they're really not that far. They have a lot of trams and trains and buses here that can take you there easily for a day trip. So I think that'll probably be the play. But uh, for right now, we just finna uh, head back. And uh, I think I'm already starting to remember exactly where my damn Airbnb is. But anyways, First night in Braslavia, already better than the whole three days or the whole four days I was in uh, Budapest. <clears throat> in Budapest, no one really wanted to talk or, you know, congregate at all. <laughs> but um, there was one specific um, uh, bar where the bartenders, they, you know, they kind of seemed like they didn't really care or want to help or anything as well. So uh, it's called Barracks. It's a, like a rock bar and shit like that. But you know, I had one drink there and I left. But after that, everything's been cool. I'm not like a techno, electronical, you know, dance type of guy. So I was like, yeah. But anyways, uh, actually, here's my Airbnb right here. <laughs> 